All right, in this video, I'm gonna be talking to you about hugging Face.js and how you can get started and moving on these open source models if you'd like to use them. So in this video, I'm not gonna show you how to like build a model or do anything extreme like that. I'm just gonna show you how to leverage existing models that are on their platform. But before I get into that, I just wanna to touch on Hugging Face itself. So if you're not familiar with Hugging Face, so Hugging Face is a company uh, that's well known for their work in artificial intelligence and it's sort of becoming almost like a GitHub of uh, uh, open source models and data sets and just a, a place where you can go ahead and both look at the models um, and and interact with them and it, it's all done in a you know a nice interface and it's starting to uh, develop an ecosystem all around it so there's uh, been a well-established python ecosystem for quite some time and what's exciting is now there's also a javascript uh, library implementation where it makes it super simple to interact with their models so without further ado, what we're gonna do to get this up and running is go ahead and make an account on Hugging Face. You don't need a credit card or anything like that to get uh, set up. Uh, make an account, once you've done that, uh, head over to the top right hand corner. We're gonna go to settings and then we're going to go ahead and make an API key. So once uh, you're on the settings page, just go to access tokens. And then you can make a, uh, a read token. You can make, it will give you the decision between read and write. In this example, you'll just need to make a read token. And then once you have that, we're going to go over and put that into our .env file. So I'll just open up uh, VS Code here. Um, so go into uh, an empty directory or, or any directory really, but um, it, go into an empty directory just to make it simple and go into your .env file. If you haven't made one already, just go ahead and you know you can touch .env, uh, make a variable name for your API key and then so variable name equal and then paste in the key there. So once you've done that, uh, I'm just gonna run through what we're gonna be doing here. So we're gonna import the required library. And in this case, we're gonna be using the Hugging Face uh, inference library. So if you go ahead and npm i uh, Hugging Face slash inference, and then we're also going to be using .env, unless you're putting your API key in line here. So, uh, well, you can go ahead and install those. I already have them installed, so I won't run that. And once we have that, uh, so we have that declared, we're going to uh, initialize .env, and then this is where you'll access the variable that you put in .env, or you could paste it in line here if you didn't wanna you do all the .env stuff. So from there, we're going to actually initialize the Hugging Face inference class. And this is going to be where we, um, it does a lot of the work. So in the first example I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna show you how to reference a specific model. And then in the following exam examples, I'll show you how you can uh, go in and leverage their docs and just sort of quickly get going with what they have built in in their JavaScript wrapper here. So if you want to use a uh, custom model or uh, a, a specific model on their hub, uh, so the first thing you can do is you can go over and click the models here. And once you've done that, uh, you'll have a whole list of all sorts of models. Now, uh, even though there's a lot on the page here, the thing that I found useful is uh, take a look at uh, the tasks here. So think about the application of say, oh, you have an idea on how you want to leverage AI, or if you just want to start to get ideas, this is a great place to start. You can see, you know, you can get text to text generation or image to image or, you know, text to image. So in the first example, I'm going to be using a library where it's image to text. So the way you can find the model that I'm going to be showing you is you can go image to text, and then you can sort by most downloaded here or however you want. You might have like a particular use case that you're looking for. You can always search as well. And here is the model that we're going to use. So if you just go ahead and copy the model here, you can go ahead and paste it in right as you see here. So in this example, I'm going to be showing you this image here, which I have in this tab. And it's just simply a picture of a zebra. So it's going to take this image. We're first gonna fetch it. I'll just get the code here. So first we're gonna fetch it. And then once we fetched it, we're going to convert that image into a blob. 
And then that blob, so that data representation of the image is what we're going to pass to the model. So you can sort of think of inference as that's what we're using to get the prediction. It's almost like a prediction API. So pick the model and then pass in an input, wait for a prediction. And the reason why I wanna say prediction is when you get a result that you're not uh, happy with or pleased with or, or what have you, uh, just know that this is this is just how it works. It's it's you know it's uh, you know it's, it's statistics and probability. It's not uh, something that's uh, going to be absolute where you pass in an image and it tells you exactly what it is. But what I found with this um, model in particular, uh, it's their most downloaded model and it does work really well. Like I'd say the hit rate is what with what I've tried, probably about eighty plus percent. Um, now it can struggle with sometimes abstract images or something that might be uh, very detailed. Um, you know, if you're expecting like a very like verbose explanation of like this like detailed scene, it might struggle with that. But if you handle or, or pass it, you know, just sort of typical images that you you might uh, uh, leverage, uh, it does a, a pretty good job. But instead of just talking through that, I'll just demonstrate it here. So we're going to pass the results here. Uh, uh, or Yeah, so pass the results from our image, specify our model, and we're just gonna simply log the results. So if I just go node, hugging face, it's going to reach for that image, get the blob, and then once it has the blob, it's going to go ahead and pass that through. So we see, okay, a zebra standing in a field of tall grass. So, it did a great job in this example. So obviously play around with this. Uh, in this example that I'm showing you here, the nice thing about it is it's set up in a way since you're fetching the image, converting it to a blob, you'll be able just to pass in whatever URL uh, image um, um, that you'd like. Like you don't need to download them locally and, and play around with that. You can just pass it in line in your code here. So um, now to actually leverage the wrapper. So if you want to start to use it in a way um, that they've uh, built this wrapper, let me just pull it up here. If we go back to the Hugging Face JS and we go to this inference page here. Now this inference page is great because it shows you all of the built-in uh, libraries and, and examples um, that you, you can pass in. So if it's a you know a, a summarization uh, model that you want to use, uh, it gives you example of you know the model, the input, uh, parameters. So this is a really great place to start. Um, if you're just sort of toying with an idea, I'd encourage you to look here. Um, and maybe even before looking at the, the custom models, because this just has a, a lot of good information of both examples, like working examples, and the actual different types of models themselves. So if you have a use case you're thinking of and you want to explore, take a look through this page. You know, it's a quick read. There's quite a few, but you, you know, you could read this in, in a few minutes, really. And the nice thing with it is once you have the library installed, I'll just go back and make a couple tweaks here. If I just log and uh, remove the comments, you can start to see that you can really get going and leverage these in often cases, incredibly powerful models with very few lines of code. So here I'm just gonna get everything, get rid of everything from these lines here. And I'm going to change my variable name here to have it within the same convention that they're using in these docs. So once you have that set up, you can go ahead and just start reaching for examples here. So I'll just show you these. I'm not going to go through too many, so hopefully you you know you'll you'll be encouraged to, you know, go and explore and try these things by yourself. But so here we have the summarization. So we're using the Facebook Bart large dash CNN model. Now, if we go ahead and run this again, see, we just wait for, oh, instead of that, we actually have to get our results here. 
So we'll run that again. We see, okay, so there's the summarized version. Now, obviously, if this was a fair bit longer, you could, it might be a better demonstration of it summarizing, but this is just an example, obviously. And then once you have that set up, you can really just come in here, find the, the model that you want to use. Um, you know, translation. Now, some of these models you might have to uh, pass in uh, other parameters, like maybe specify the, the language and, and whatnot, but this is a really good place to get started. Um, so, and the thing with this is if I just hop back to the models as well, is you can, let's just click models here. The, the thing that's nice with Hugging Face is it's not just uh, NLP models. So there's lots of different types of models. You know, there's there's uh, models where it's like, you, you know, image to text, like I just demonstrated, but there's, there's lots of models that are coming out here. So you can use it for voice recognition or all sorts of, of different use cases. Um, you know, there might be tabular data that you wanna work with. Uh, even text to speech, which is is pretty interesting. So, say you want to have an application that will uh, speak back to you. I haven't played around with this, but uh, you know that could be an interesting use case. Say you want to build something like Siri or something. Um, this is a great platform to start to flesh out and, and tinker with uh, whatever ideas you might have. So, I'm not going to uh, go into any any more examples here. Uh, so you can see in the video, you know, just hop through the video again if you'd like. You can see uh, where I found these things. But if you just simply Google Hugging Face JS and then uh, go into the Use the Inference API, it will give you a host of different examples. And yeah, so I hope you found this useful. If you did, please like, comment, share, and subscribe. If you have any questions, as always, feel free to drop them into the comments below. And otherwise, until the next one.